calculation the next requirement where we will find out selectivity requirement number C of requirement C where we have to find out diversification by expected rate of return considering systematic risk which is 14 point So we are at the last requirement, I mean requirement D, where we have to explain the concept of net selectivity and we have to also explain how net selectivity helps us. And finally we have to mention which is the best fund. So first of all we will write requirement D. And now if we would like to just explain the net selectivity then we have to say Net selectivity is the approximate measure of risk when risk averse investor always try to averse risk and they try to focus on the return which is below average. And then if we want to say how net selectivity helps us to make decisions on the investment and investors, then we can say net selectivity helps us to identify the risk averse investors with the risk takers investors of their investments and we can make easily decision who are the risk averse investors and who are the risk takers investors in terms of their investment decisions so now we will write down few words of net selectivity and its usefulness and finally we have to choose which one is the best between two funds so we will write net selectivity is the approximate measure on risk when risk averse investors focus on the return below average and net selectivity helps us to identify the risk Averse investors and risk takers investors according to their focus point on the return it means risk averse investors always try to be safe side on eyeing the return on below average reversely the risk taker investors are always considered to focus on higher percentage of return or above average 
so this is the way how we can explain the net selectivity and its usefulness or how net selectivity helps us to make decision as an investor and now it's time to make decision or judgment which fund is the best so we can write fund 1 is the best as per its performance since its return is above the security market line or SML but for fund 2 is below the SML that shows the poor performance between two funds so in the conclusion we can say fund one is the best as you have come to see all calculations shows the positive thing for the fund one but uh, this is the reverse thing for fund two so i think you have come to understand all the steps we have computed especially requirement a b and c and finally we can just uh, end today's class so hopefully this will be very helpful for understanding for your next calculation so for today i'm just telling you goodbye and uh, see you in the next class till then hopefully we'll be enjoying your time